Hey guys, it's Harry from speedcubing.org and today I'm going to show you how to solve one of these, the scoop. Before I show you how to solve the scoop, you're going to have to learn some notation. Unlike the 3x3, three three, however, you only need to know two moves, uh, and of course the inverses. So, the first one you need to know is R. R, 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 R turns around this corner, the right corner, in a clockwise direction. With the cube facing towards you, it looks like this. And R prime just goes the other way. There's also the other one you need to know is F and F prime. F turns around this front corner in the clockwise direction. And F prime goes in the opposite direction, anti-clockwise. F from this angle looks like this. And F prime is just that, but going the other way. The first step of solving the cube is solving a layer. This is basically a side, but you've got to make sure the corners match up together. When you, you do this, the first thing you want to do is look to see which uh, side is the best. Blue here has two corners already in the correct place, which is better than all the others. Green being the next best with one corner in place. In this situation, we would do, do blue. Now, what you have to do is you have to... Hold uh, the the layer on the bottom, and you have to see uh, if you've got a piece. And if you've got a piece, and it's uh, here in front, you hold a piece in front of you. And if it's in this position, uh, you can. If it's pointing this way, you can move it down, and it goes into place. And then if you, you also, the same is for the left, you can move it down like that. Or you can position it again, position this in front and the corner, the unsolved corner on the right. See if it's in this position pointing to the left and move it down. Now that was a two move layer, a very rare case. You would not normally get something that easy. In most cases, you'd get a harder case something with something that looks like this. What you can do for a case like this is if you, if you, firstly, you can turn the corner in position without moving it out of position and just rotate it. Now, you can then rotate it into the correct position to bring it down. You can then do this again with this piece until you have three corners left. Once you have three corners left, you, what you should do is you should see which way the piece is facing. If it's facing to the left, like before, you can just bring it down. Otherwise, you're going to have to bring it down and then use a full move sequence to put it into place. Now, the, I'm going to just tell you the moves, but I'm also going to tell you how it works. So, what you need to do here is you've got to do an F. This moves the correct corner out of the way. Then what you do is you move this, this corner up, the incorrect corner up, that's an R, and then you undo those first two moves. So you do an F prime. This brings it back into place and it also rotates the corner. And then you can do an R prime and it brings it back into place. Sometimes you'll have a case where you have to do that Al that algorithm twice that algorithm or insertion or whatever you want to call it twice in that case if it's you'll know that if it's facing off to the the right or the the back when you put it down here what you do then is just do the algorithm 
F R F prime R prime and then you do it again F R F prime R prime Once you have done that you then need to solve the corners There are three cases you can get for this You can either get this case which looks like uh the which looks kind of like the number pi if you've got it like this with the 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 line at the top and the things going off to the side so this is called pi you got this case where the corners are solved and you have one more case where the corners where you've got these these uh Diag diagonal uh, corners that are solved and these ones that are unsolved. This is the hardest case, but they are all easy. This one, obviously, you don't have to do anything for. For the pi case, you're just going to need to do a simple four move algorithm. This is the only algorithm you're going to need for the rest of the solve. What you do is you position the the two corners that are uh, adjacent and facing the same way on the right, and uh, one of the others, and then that that's that's what you need to do. Then you do this simple algorithm. R prime. F R F prime and it solves the corners. So for solving a case where you have two corners that are uh, solved, it's called the peanut case. What you do is you do is you hold is you hold one of the the you find which corner you find one of the corners that's correct, uh, that's solved, and then you, you put that on the left, and then you look at the corner on the right and the orientation it is. If it's facing towards you, like it is right now, that's good. Otherwise, if it's facing away from you, you're holding it in the wrong position and you need to turn it until you've got one of the solved corners on the left and uh, uh, an unsolved one facing you. You then... Do the algorithm, the the sledgehammer algorithm. R prime, F, R, F prime. This then just gives you the pi case, and again you can do the algorithm. R prime, the sledgehammer algorithm that is. R prime, F, R, F prime. The next thing you've got to do is you want to put the so the adjacent opposite center on top. There are two cases for this. One is this is where it's solved. You don't have to do anything then. Or you've got this where it's it's not. What you do then is you find what the opposite center is. So in this case, blue. You can see by the the corners what the color of the corners are. And you put that center in the back. And you do the same algorithm as before. R prime, F, R, F prime. And then you rotate the cube. This is called a Y2 rotation. But you rotate it like 180 degrees. And you do the algorithm again. R prime, F, R, F prime. The next step is solving another centre. A lot of the time you'll get lucky and this will skip. Uh, and in that case, you don't have to do anything. Like here, you've already got one solved. But sometimes you'll get a case where you don't have any, any centres, other centres solved apart from these two. What you want to do then is you want to position these the solved sides on the side on each side on the right and the left and just do the same thing as before 
the algorithm r prime f r f prime and the y2 180 degree rotation and do the algorithm again r prime f r f prime you'll then be left with this case where there's only three centers uh, left to solve it's called a u perm but it's very simple what you can you do is you uh, look at the one that needs to be on top so again so you hold you hold it so the the three unsolved centers are kind of in a in a line like this and then you look at the one that needs to be on top so in this case the green you put in the back and you do the same thing as before r prime f r f prime y2 180 degree rotation r prime f r f prime and then you have solved the scheme uh thank you for watching the video if you did enjoy the tutorial or find it useful it would be much appreciated if you left a like and subscribed we're going to do more tutorials like this uh and if you want to purchase a scube yourself there's a link in the description below to uh buy a scube uh thanks for watching hope you enjoyed